So many Australian households now have multiple dogs in there. It's really important when we bring a new dog home that we make sure we do it right. Now, Trish, you're a bit of an expert on this. You've even written a book about it. What are some handy tips that we should know? Yes, yeah, so it's important for owners that are considering introducing a new dog into their house so that they uh, prepare for the, for the arrival of the mm -hmm. new dog. So the things to establish are the rules and boundaries. Okay. So establishing which rooms or, you know, dogs are allowed into or not allowed into, you know, establishing the sleeping areas, where they're going to be sleeping, and, of course, eating areas areas and where they're going to be eating as well. So they're things that are really important to establish before you bring the new dog home. Okay. And so what are some of the best ways that we could introduce a new dog into the home? The best way we recommend is taking the dogs for a walk first. So anywhere off the, off the new, on neutral ground is the best okay. place. So taking them for a walk, 20, 40 minutes, and then once they've established there, then they can go to a park, have a bit of a play, yep. and then taking them home from there. Okay. Now you two, are you listening closely? Resource guarding is a big thing. Um, often we think it's just food and toys, but it's a lot more than that, isn't it? Yeah, so resources aren't just food and toys. The biggest resource is actually us and what comes from us as yes. well. So we need to be mindful to control and manage those things mm -hmm. so that dogs don't fight over those resources. And what happens if dogs do start having little niggles? Is that a problem? No, minor squabbles is normal yep. and it's quite fine, especially if you can quickly break up the, the squabble without mm -hmm. too much issue. Yep. The problems start when the fights become more frequent yes. and, of course, increase in intensity as well. Okay. That's really when you need to seek the services of a professional. Okay, because they're not going to get better, are they, if they're left unattended? No, the fights can actually get really bad, and I've actually seen dogs that people can't bring them into the same area anymore. Um, and that's quite severe, so you don't want to let it get to that point so we do certainly recommend seeking the services of a trainer that can come and help you if you start to see an escalation in frequency and intensity. Yeah absolutely because we want to make sure that we have a happy home for both the human and our canine friends.